Hi YouTube, it's been a long time, but I'm back. Woo! So today we're going to be making one of my favourite recipes. These little bad boys are great to pick up and have as a snack throughout the day. They're not as bad for you as maybe say like my chocolate cake recipe. That was a couple of videos back. Now we've all done it. Looked in that fruit bowl and found a lovely fusty old banana. Now I want to show you how to turn one of these lovely fusty bananas into something delicious. If you haven't guessed it, today's recipe is going to be Banana bread! Shall we do it? So here is the list of the ingredients that you're going to need to make the banana bread muffins. Great. I'm going to start by peeling my four overripe bananas, put them into a bowl, and then give them a good old mash. You can either use a potato masher to smash your bananas up, but I like to use a fork. Oh! <laughs> Delicious! Once all of our bananas are peeled, we do the mash. The mash, the mash. To this lovely mashed banana mixture, I'm going to add one cup of sugar. Oh yeah. Two eggs. One teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, two cups of plain flour, half a cup of vegetable oil, and a little bit of cinnamon. Mm -mm -mm. Grab yourself a whisk. Ooh. And beat it. And that is your banana bread batter, beautifully beaten. Try to learn that fast five times. Now this banana bread is a great base for you to add any extra flavours on top. Layering. Make sure you line your muffin tin with either oil or butter. Once the batter has been evenly distributed, you can start layering up your flavours. I'll always recommend using chocolate in one of them because it's delicious. And if you're giving them to someone you don't like, you can put a chocolate laxative in. No one will know, but they will later. You can be as experimental as you like with flavours, put anything you like in it. I've gone for four different options today. Coconut Dream, Nutella Centre, Sesame Seed and Linseed, Lemon Curd. Mm -mm -mm. Once you've put all your ingredients on top of your mix, take a skewer and stir them all around. I bake these in the oven at about 180 between 15 and 20 minutes, but just check on them so when they start puffing up and going nice and golden. In they go. Always check your baked goods 10 minutes into the bake just to make sure nothing is going seriously wrong. Time to get our muffins out the oven. And here they are, all puffed up, golden and delicious. I'd let these cool down for about 10 to 15 minutes before you try to remove them from the tin. When you do, transfer them to a nice wire rack like so and leave them to cool down for a further five minutes. You can tuck into these warm or wait until they've gone completely cooled down. They're always nice next day for breakfast. Hope you enjoyed my video. Search that fruit bowl for that brown banana that you're just gonna throw away anyway and make something delicious. Enjoy guys, happy baking. Overripe bananas. Book <laughs> <laughs>